Exploring can a gateway to English ability. Hello, language explorers. Today, we are going to focus on a powerful little word in the English language, can. This modal verb is simple yet versatile, and it's used to express a lot of different meanings. But our main focus today is on its most common usage, to denote ability. Can is one of the English modal verbs. It's used to express a variety of things, but primarily, it's used to talk about ability or possibility. When we say we can do something, it means we have the skill, the knowledge, or the physical capacity to do it. For example, I can swim, she can play the piano, they can speak Spanish. In all these examples, can is used to talk about an ability that someone possesses. In English, when we use can, we follow a very straightforward structure. It's subject plus can plus base verb. The base verb is the verb without any tense or plural forms, so we don't use to or s, ing, or ed endings. For example, we can cook, not, we can't a cook, we can cooks, we can cooking, we can cooked. You can read this book. They can run fast. Remember, can is already helping us express the time, so we don't need to change the base verb. Making the negative form with can is quite simple. We just add not after can, which becomes can't or cannot. For example, I can't fly, it's not possible for me to fly. Forming questions with can is also straightforward. We invert the subject and can. For example, can you play guitar? Can they come to the party? So there you have it. Can is a handy modal verb that helps us express ability, possibility, and more in English. It follows a simple structure, making it easy to use in both affirmative and negative sentences, as well as in questions. Keep practicing with different verbs and subjects, and you'll master the usage of can in no time. Until next time, keep exploring and happy language learning.